it got the bat symbol or the aardvark symbol or whatever you want to call it. We're going to go do some lunch to celebrate the anniversary of flight at Kitty Hawk. And go jump in the plane and head down to Thunfield PLU, get some food, do some flying with the guys. Should be a good day. Scorp 2-1, you can start that uh, right turn north of westbound. Terminal 7, Mike Bravo, runway 16, right at Alpha 6, clear for takeoff and taken direction, I apologize. That'll be southeast bouncer and clear for takeoff 16, right, Semic Bravo. Roger, straight off and I'll call that the uh, on course uh, turn. Semic Bravo, straight out. Seven Mike Bravo, Southeast to prove. Southeast, Darby Dinner, Seven Mike Bravo. Mark work. Hey, hey. You headed south? Yeah, I'm uh, uh, probably 10 miles behind you. I see that. I was going to go up high and come down, but I figured with his headwind, I'll just keep going. <laughs> These clouds look like they're low, but they're pretty high, yeah, like 8,000? Yeah, I know, it's surprising, isn't it? Play two RVs, departing one one six, and we'll uh, jog over to the left and pass you. Uh, we're straight out. All right, sounds like these guys are airborne. Let's go find them. Uh, we're in traffic. Play two RVs, uh, departing back to the south. Last call.
guys holding hands? Yep, skip it too. Visual. I do have my pants off. Oh, jeez. Holding hands with your pants off. Have you been to Top Gun yet? I have not. Pass, son. Actually, gas is cheaper at Sun, and I gotta gas up, so. Crap, my own person just stopped off. Hello? Zero? You're clean, but underneath. Hello, temps are coming up. They're not coming up. Oh, that's good. His oil pressure is down, but appears to be temps holding steady, which is better than the alternative. I want to make a quick note about formation mutual support. Uh, a lot of non-military pilots don't think about formation as actually being really beneficial if something goes wrong with your aircraft. So in this case, you know, Sharky was flying right off of AP. I was still a little bit farther back from them when uh, AP lost his oil pressure. And so what he was able to do because we were in formation is actually just slide back underneath and take a quick look at AP's belly and make sure he wasn't, you know, just leaking out a bunch of oil all over the place. And we were ready to work the comms if we needed to and actually help AP set up and clear some of the traffic out of the area at the field we were going into. It ended up not being that big of a deal. Uh, I didn't include all of the, the comms with uh, Thunfield. His oil came back online, uh, so it was a likely a sensor issue, which we later troubleshot and figured out that it was. Pierce, 6410 is on short final 17, play touch and go. Pierce. Pierce County traffic, Cessna 172, Papa Tango, downwind runway 17. At 1,500, have traffic above me. And Pierce County traffic, RV, 6022, now 3.5 mile final 17, Pierce. Traffic uh, on the downwind to the right above me, I'm at 1,300. Are you leaving the pattern? Uh, no, we're going to extend our downwind for that uh, aircraft that's inbound. There's traffic, Cessna 84823, turning downwind for 17 here. There's traffic, 6410 is on the go. Yeah, first traffic RV to say the fuel is a mile and a half final, straight in, one seven. Aircraft just turning base, any way you can uh, climb there and let us come in? Runway one seven, Pierce County. Okay, I've got that traffic that's just turned final, I'm going to do a 360. I got my pressure back now on the gauge, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just 360 here. I'm sure I can go around. No, you're fine. So something worth mentioning is you'll, as you see in this video, one of the aircraft had really good situational awareness, knew where we were, and then actually the aircraft behind him from base and basically cut off the flight of three. Not a huge deal. Uh, AP's oil pressure was back up at that point, so very confident his plane was okay. But something to look out for, you know, as you plan these kind of emergency scenarios out, what happens? You know, if that oil pressure was at zero, would have asked that aircraft to go ahead and wave off. In this case, no issues, um, you know, just caused us to do one circle. A quick note, the, the CFI who was kind of calling out traffic to us, it sounded like he was doing some pattern work with his student. Uh, student, for all I know, I have this vision of the student being completely oblivious to the fact that this was all going on around her. Maybe not, but I remember when I was a flight student, uh, my situational awareness wasn't necessarily the best all the time, so that instructor did a great job. That instructor's out there and hears this, uh, definitely a good job, a good situational awareness, and you know, working with us to make sure that we could get the planes in. There's traffic 6410 is turning left crosswind 17, large flock of birds off the end of the airfield, about 1,200 feet. Here's Pierce traffic 3 of 3 RVs now left turn, uh, coming back on final. Pierce. Pierce County, Cessna 822, we're on the extended downward. We got all three RVs inside. Are all three of you guys landing? Yeah, affirmative, and thanks for the help. Red RV is number three. I'm coming up to your beam right now. Roger, I got you inside 823. 
Clear traffic, Cessna 84823, turning base behind the RV 417, here. All right, gears down, flaps down, 244, lights on, pumps on, switches set, checks complete. Clear traffic, 2410 is turning left at base, 17 Pierce. Extended. Thanks for your help, guys. Probably worth noting here that uh, Tom is an excellent RV mechanic. He's built multiple RVs and also actually has had his aircraft featured in, uh, in several magazines. Uh, AP is an excellent mechanic as well, knows all kinds of things about engines and all the systems on the aircraft. Very, very sharp contrast to me. I can do things like hold tools. If you point to screws, I can definitely uh, twist them clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what you need. So having those two working on the plane, I was just there again to provide that support. We got the plane buttoned up, fixed less than an hour, ate some food by that time, of course, because it's Seattle in the winter. You know, it was after 2.30 p.m., so it was, of course, pitch black. And uh, flew back for me for a night flight and for, uh, for Sharky, night flight back to Payne Field. And then AP went back to his home field at Auburn. It appears to be an oil sensor. <laughs> of, of some sort. Of some sort. <laughs> I think what we have here is a working engine, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Airplane's back buttoned up, should be good to go. It's caught in